let's start our practice. We're going to go ahead and start in mountain pose. Just go ahead and make your way up to the top of your mat. And just continue to arri arrive in the space by taking a few deep breaths. Just slow, steady breaths here. Feel free to keep your eyes open if you'd like. Just gaze forward or downward at the ground. Or feel free to close your eyes. Notice the ground underneath you. Even grip your mat a few times with your toes just so you can feel the texture of your mat underneath you. Just feel this connection to the earth, rooted. As you're breathing, just feel your breath as it moves through your entire body. Again, just slow, steady breaths, even listening to the sound of your breath. As you inhale, just feel your breath rising upward to fill your lungs. And as you exhale, draw your navel inward towards your spine, a light contraction of your abdominal muscles, slightly engaging the abdominal lock. Again, as you inhale, just feel the lifting and lengthening of your spine. You might even feel a little lighter and taller up top. Lungs expanding. And of course, your exhale, connecting to your center, engaging the abdominal lock. Uddiyana Bandha. And these sensations will help guide you in your practice today. So as you prepare your body to move, just take three more breaths. Generating energy, warmth in your body. And when you're ready, inhale and extend your arms overhead. Just treat it like a nice stretch. Reach all the way up. And exhale, let's fold forward, so a good hinge from your hips. Bend your knees as much as you need to, and just slowly and carefully make your way down toward your toes. You don't have to touch your toes here. Inhale, slide your hands up the legs a bit to extend your spine so you're long and flat like a tabletop. And exhale, we'll fold. Just make your way back down towards your toes. It could be a partial fold where your hands rest at your shins or knees, or just bend your knees a little bit more so you can touch the ground or your toes. Still taking deep breaths here. Awareness of the sensations in your body. That lengthening or stretch feeling in your legs, curvature in your spine. Check in with your shoulders. Sometimes we hold tension in our shoulders and our neck. So feel free to roll your shoulders. Shake your head. Just nod yes. Shake your head no. Even open your mouth wide like you're yawning. Ah, just to release any tension you might be holding in your jaw and neck. Let's get ready to stand. So first, shift your weight back into your heels. Bend your knees, feel like you're going to sit down into a low chair. Look forward or extend your spine. And then take your arms out to the side. Stand up tall, inhale, reaching into the air. And exhale, bring your palms together and down to your heart. Just hold here, take a breath. It's going to re repeat that same sequence, our half salute to the sun. Whenever you're ready, inhale, let's take the arms out and up, lengthening through the sides of the body, growing tall. Exhale, fold forward. Bend your knees, make your way down. Always moving at your own pace. Inhale, slide your hands up the legs. Feel the crown of your head lead you forward. Back down we go, exhale. Complete release here as you're able. Shoulders, neck, head. 
Again, our weight shift into the heels. Bend your knees, look forward, extend your arms out to the side and grow tall. Breathe in, reach high. Exhale, hands together and down to your heart. Again, just a pause here. Continue to check in with breath, aware of the ground beneath you, rooted and connected. Let's continue with our sun salutation. Whenever you're ready, inhale, float the arms out and up. Good. Exhale, fold forward, going at your own pace. Make your way down, maybe touching the ground. Inhale, rise up halfway from that long tabletop. There we go. This exhale, fold, bend your knees, place your hands on your mat so you can step both feet back to the back end of your mat. There we go. Into plank pose. Hold there for a moment. Take some deep breaths. Just building some good strength in the body in this position. Notice the feeling in your toes here, the heels reaching to the back of the room while your crown is coming forward. Take a breath in and exhale, bend your knees a little, send your hips into the air. This is our shortcut to down dog. You can do this any time in the practice today. Just move from plank right into down dog. Right? And just kind of step into place or adjust your hands, adjust your feet just to settle into the pose. You can just hold here if you'd like or add movement pedaling of the feet, stretching through the toes, your calves, let your knees bend. Your hips might even shift side to side. And if at any time you need to rest, you can always just bring knees to the floor, maybe sit back in child's pose, whatever you need to do. Let's get ready to move a full breath in, fill up your lungs. Exhale. Bend your knees, walk, step, or even hop. Both feet back up to the top of the mat. You'll be in forward fold. Inhale, extend through your spine. A little, a little weight shift towards your toes. Feel like you're coming forward. Exhale, back down. Now that weight shift into the heels. Bend your knees. Inhale, reverse your swan dive. Come all the way up. Reach high. This exhale, take chair pose. Just keep the body in motion. As you sit back into chair pose, feel the weight shift back into the hips and even in your heels. And just notice if you're able to easily tap your toes or even just lift and hold up the toes. We'll take a breath in, nice, nice energy in your arms, and exhale, diving out of the seat. Back down towards toes, forward fold, inhale, lifting up halfway. And our exhale, folding all the way down, bent knees, plant your hands into the earth, hop or step back into plank pose, that strong straight line. As before, you can take that same shortcut to down dog or finish your push up with an exhale, bend your elbows, squeeze them in towards your ribs, lower your way down. And create a back bend, it might be upward facing dog or cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. Once again, yes, just adjusting the feet and hands, arriving in the space. Let's continue with our lunge. Inhale, extend right leg up, that's it. Reaching back, exhale, step right foot up to the top of the mat. Once you've landed, good, just take your time. Left heel turns to the floor behind you. That weight shift back into the whole foot. Long spine, inhale, hinge from hips, rising up, reaching into the air. And exhale, just fold forward. Bring the hands back down to the ground. Let's step back into plank pose. Same thing, the shortcut to down dog or a vinyasa or a flow, movement of body with breath. Through the poses, up dog and downward facing dog. Whenever you're ready, an inhale to extend left leg into the sky, yes. Exhale, step left foot to the top of the mat. Take your time with that transition. Right heel will turn to the floor, that weight shift back into that foot so your hands are light, yeah. So you'll easily hinge from hips, rising up, there it is. Exhale, just fold, come right back down, hands return to the earth, and step back, there's plank, and finishing your flow here. We'll meet together in downward facing dog. Nice. Pausing in your down dog for a couple of breaths. And then you'll gently set your knees onto the floor. We're gonna take a seat. So sit back briefly in hero. Sit off to the side here and swing the legs around to the front. You wanna sit in the center of your mat. Carefully roll down onto your back and draw your knees into chest. Let's add some movement here. Move any way you'd like. 
maybe some circles, a side to side movement, a rocking forward and back. Let's go ahead and set the feet onto the floor, preparing for our bridge pose, our heart opener and back bend. When you're ready, breathe and fill up your lungs. Exhale, empty your belly. And then lift hips up into the air. As you're able, can you get your arms and shoulders a bit underneath you? Just to help open up the, through the chest a little bit more. If you need a little bit more stability or support in the posture, you can use your hands. Use your hands to help lift yourself up, even hold yourself up. If you have a block nearby, you can even slide a block underneath you and sit on the block just for a little bit more of a supported back bend. And to possibly raise the upper body a little bit more, you can bend your elbows or bend your arms at 90 degrees. Yes, and press the backs of your arms, yes, down into the ground. Feel that sensation and allow the body to lift. And just kind of feel, kind of notice where you are, how this feels. Take two more breaths. And then you'll wiggle your feet forward a little bit. Extend your arms up into the air, just releasing, making space in your back body. Slowly roll your way down. Go ahead and draw your knees into chest and start rocking forward and back. Just noticing that sensation. Then enough momentum perhaps to rock yourself up to seated so you can come to boat pose. You might lift the feet. You can even do this with feet on the floor if you want to. Or lift the feet, flex the feet or point your toes. Holding onto the legs to help extend spine. Nice lifting sensation. Although this, this is a core strengthening posture, there's also a, a sense of lightness here. Like you might just float right up into the air, especially when you inhale. And exhale, just connect, drawing navel inward towards spine. Let's get ready to flow here, breathing in like you're floating up. Exhale, yeah, cross legs if you can. Hands in front of the cross legs to hop or step back into plank pose. Just hands to your side so you can just swing the feet back, step back, and just arrive in plank. Here, just take a shortcut to downward facing dog, a softness in the knees. Lift your hips up into the air. And there we are. Continuing our lunge sequence. Inhale, extend right leg up behind you, nice and strong. Exhale, right foot to the top of the mat. Once you're there, left heel can turn to the floor. Good grounding, good connection. Warrior one, rising up. And exhale, let's open up to a warrior two. It's just opening up towards your left side of the room. Make some adjustments with your feet underneath you. Moving into side angle. So follow your right arm forward. Angle the upper half of the body. We'll rotate the arms here. Right arm reaching down towards the ground. Left hand towards the ceiling. Nice opening for the whole front side of the body. The chest, the hips. Good breathing. There we are. Ready to move. We start with an in-breath. The exhale will turn, fold, bring your hands back down to the floor, step back, plank pose, pause, just to realign the body in a strong straight line. Your shortcut here to downward facing dog. Other side, when you're ready, inhale, extend left leg up, reaching back. You exhale to step through. Left foot to the top there, right heel will turn to the floor, find your centering, light hands, long spine, inhale, float your way up. Here's our exhale opening into a warrior two. Feel tall, outstretched arms, and follow your left arm forward, angled upper body, rotate the arms. Now the left hand might touch the floor or a stack of blocks. We might be up higher in the pose where your arm or even your hand is on your left thigh. Right hand reaching into the air, there it is. 
Feel these good openings. Take a breath in. Here's our exhale to move, turn and fold. Hands down to the floor, back to our plank pose. You can take that same shortcut to down dog or complete your series as you'd like, Chaturanga Dandasana. You can even bring knees to the floor first, then your chest. Find a back bend, might be cobra or locust, and then downward facing dog. Pause here for a moment. And a full breath in. Exhale, walk, step, or hop both feet up to the top of the mat. Stay on your feet, forward fold. Inhale, lengthening through the spine. Exhale, fold again. Weight shift into the heels, bend your knees. Inhale, reverse your swan dive. Let's grow tall, reach up. And exhale, bring your arms down to your side. Good, let's go ahead and just kind of shake out the shoulders. There you go, even your hands and wrists, fingers. We're going to do a couple things. Grab your block. Let's place the block between the thighs here. Just a little squeeze. Just going to take chair pose. <clears throat> now squeezing the block, holding on to the block, will just keep things nice and stable. But let's concentrate on moving to center. This is just a reminder that everything moves in towards the midline, okay, towards your spine. Here we go. Let's inhale, reach into the sky. Exhale, take chair pose. That weight shift back into the hips and heels. You don't have to sit down too low at all. Outstretched arms. I'm not going to be here too long, but just a little extra squeeze of the block. Just to remind self of everything moves inward. Even imagine you've got a, maybe a big beach ball, perhaps, between your hands that you're holding on to. All right, let's go ahead and stand up nice and tall, reaching high. Exhale, arms just return to your side. So just a simple movement, that reminder of moving to center. So let's try this. To remove the block, we're gonna place it down low, just above the ankle bones, okay? Nice and low. So just hold on to the block down there, okay? Same thing. We're just gonna inhale, reach into the sky. Exhale, take your chair pose. <clears throat> Again, you may not need to take a deep seat, especially if we want to keep the feet flat on the ground. You could weight shift back into the heels. Okay? But again, hugging towards midline, but from a lower level in the body. Even feel or think about the inside edges of your feet kind of rolling in or squeezing in, or your big toes coming into center. And if you've got that block to remind you as well. Let's stand up tall, reach for the sky. Good, and just swan dive, let's just keep it moving. Swan dive forward so we can remove that block. We'll just continue the flow. So remove the block. Take monkey pose, extending. Let's just flow with breath, go at your own pace. Come down, plant the hands, hop or step back, plank pose. Come on down if you'd like. Chaturanga Dandasana. My instruction might be fast, that doesn't mean you have to go fast. Upward facing dog as you inhale. And exhale, downward facing dog. And of course, modify and as you need to. Inhale, extend right leg up. Let's add an opening here. So bend your knee, bring your heel down toward your backside a bit. That's it. Lifting the knee, not very high, just a little bit of a lift so you can feel the hip kind of turning open towards the right side of the room. Hands nice and strong, planted into the earth. Breathe in. Exhale, let's unwind. Let's send right foot to the top of the mat. Back to our warrior ones. Plant that left heel. Light hands hinge from hips, rising up. Exhale, opening warrior two, settling in, there we are, right away into side angle pose. Let's just keep it flowing. Angled upper body, rotate the arms, reach up into the air, even over your head if you want that side body stretch, yes. Breathe in, here we go, exhale, turn and fold. Bring your hands down to the floor, step back into plank pose, hold in plank, but lift your right foot up off the floor. Doesn't have to lift very high. We're gonna do a few things with that lifted free foot. First. Flex the foot so it feels like your heel is trying to reach to the back of the room. And then point your toes. So your toes are reaching for the back of the room. Do that a couple more times. So flex, point, flex, point. Keep the toes pointed. Lift the leg into the air as you return to a down dog. Straight line. 
leg lifting, breathe in, still moving. Exhale, right foot returns to the top of the mat. Let's go to a high lunge this time. So left heel will stay lifted. All 10 toes are pointing forward. We want to find our center. So again, our hands are light. So we can rise up, reach up into the air. Reach up, lunge low. Stay where you are. Even here, you want to imagine you've got a block between the thighs. Squeeze, even though, yes, you're in a lunge, the legs are separated, but hug to midline. That might help with the balance of this pose. Same thing, imagine maybe you're holding on to something between the hands. Okay, let's breathe in. Exhale, fold. Hands to the floor, step back, plank pose. Come down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Flow through into your up dog and downward facing dog. All right, let's just do that same sequence, other side, whenever you're ready. Your inhale to extend left leg into the air will open this up. So bend your knee, a bit of a lift of the knee, that twist in the spine, that hip opener towards the left side of the room. Hands rooted into the floor, strong arms. Unwind and step through with the exhale. <sighs> yep, just guide your way up there. Right heel turns to the floor. Find your center, then float up. Warrior one, exhale, opening to your warrior two. Settling in right away, side angle. Follow the left hand forward, angled upper body. Reach high, reach low, nice expansion. Opening through the front body. Here we go, breathing in. Exhale, here's our turn. Return to the earth with both hands. Slide left foot back, it's plank with left foot lifted. Again, not lifting very high, doesn't have to lift high at all. Same thing with the foot, we're flexing the foot. Just notice how that feels. What's happening as the heel is reaching to the back wall. Notice what's happening in your calf of the leg. Point your toes, reach, feel the shin, the top of the foot. Flex, point, let's do it one more time. Flex, point, keep it pointed. Lift the leg as it carries you to downward facing dog. Of course, you have to push the hands into the floor to help guide. Breathe in, exhale, left foot returns to the top of the mat, high lunge, so right heel stays lifted. Again, all 10 toes are pointing forward. Find your center, extend the spine, hinge, rise up, reach into the air, lunge low, find your center, squeeze to center line. That's also the core. Don't forget your exhale, drawing belly in. Here we go, breathe in. And exhale, we're just folding, bring the hands back down to the ground. Step or slide the left foot back. Finish your sequence as you'd like, modify it if you want to, shorten it if you want to. Yes, yeah, nice. Okay, we're going back down to the earth, so just bring your knees to the ground, sit back in hero. Off to the side we go, swing the legs around to the front. So we're going back to our bridge. So sit in the center of your mat. Go ahead and roll down. Same thing, as you bring the knees in, feel free to add some movement here. Just kind of a, a free style movement, whatever it might feel good for your back and your hips, even your feet. Since your feet are free, let's just go back to some movement here. Maybe here you can do some circles with the ankles, clockwise counterclockwise, even flex and point again. Now, let's set the feet down onto the floor. Let's make our way back into bridge. Breathe in to fill up your lungs. Exhale to empty the belly, lifting hips. Make those adjustments, adjust the feet if you need to. Perhaps get your arms and shoulders underneath you. Okay, bend your arms at 90 degrees. Press down into the floor with your elbows. Just to feel a little extra lift. We're gonna add on to this. As you're able, you're gonna step your feet a little closer towards yourself, but rise up onto your tiptoes. Lift the heels off the floor. That's it, yes. <clears throat> Good. So what we're creating here is a straight line up and down, knees right down to ankle bones. That's how they were aligned when your feet were flat on the floor, but you had to step your feet closer toward yourself, in this case, to get that straight line. And you probably lifted a little higher. 
Certainly feel the, feeling this in your toes, your calves are engaged. Take another breath. There we are. Then step forward so your feet are flat on the ground once again. Take root, extend your arms into the sky. Roll your way down to the earth. This time extend the body. Extend the legs out front. Reach your arms behind you. An active stretch in these opposite directions. Good. And soften, then draw both knees into chest. Continue to rock forward and back as you're able. Now, if that doesn't feel great on your spine on your back that's fine you can always roll to your side to rise up to a seated position or roll up so you can arrive into boat pose or just get yourself situated so you can just make your way into navasana or boat pose you can keep the knees bent you can always extend the legs here you can flex the feet point your toes okay that same active foot here also helps to engage the legs you can hold on to the legs, you can free up the hands. All right, breathing in, lift. Exhale, cross legs, hands in front or to the side. Hop or step back, plank pose. Just take a shortcut to down dog. Just bend your knees, send your hips into the sky. Breathe in. Exhale, walk, step or hop, both feet up to the top of the mat, stay on your feet. Forward fold, inhale, extend through the spine. And your fold, yes. Inhale, reverse your swan dive. Let's come to standing, reaching into the air. And exhale, arms to your side. All right, shake it loose, letting it go. It's just a little balance work right while we're here. <clears throat> First, just want to feel balanced on two feet, rooted, connected. Even though there's an energy kind of shooting down into the earth to feel that sense of grounding. There's also that lightness up top, lengthening spine energy through the crown of your head. Okay. Start shifting your weight over to your right foot. Again, root down a little bit more firmly into the earth. Here's that growth and lightness up top as you inhale through the crown of your head. Exhale, draw belly in. We'll peel that left foot up off the floor. Maybe flex the foot. Again, just activates the leg there. We'll swing the knee out to the side, maybe to the corner of the room or side of the room. There. Mm -hmm. Placing foot somewhere on the inside of your standing leg. It can be high up above the knee, below the knee, or even use the floor. When you're ready, inhale, take the arms up into the air. I'm going to come down so I can get out of your line of vision, hopefully. Good. As you're reaching up, feel that sense of being lifted into the air. The only reason why you're not floating away is because you're rooted with that right foot into the ground. Otherwise, you would just float away. Nice, that lightness. Let's keep the arms extended. We'll swing the left knee forward. Lift your knee with the flexed foot. That's it. Plant the foot into the ground. Your arms can just come back down to your side. Feel that sense of balance return to both feet. Root, connect. Yep, yeah, shake it out. Ready for the other side. The shift of weight into the left foot press. You might even feel the thigh engage there. Lightness up top, inhale. Exhale, the abdominal lock, draw belly in. We'll peel the right foot up, flexing the foot. Bend the knee, swing it out. Open up through the hip, nice hip opener there. Foot on the inside of the standing leg, high, medium, or low. Your inhale to take the arms up into the sky, lifting. Maybe even a little extra lift, feeling the torso lift a bit up out of the pelvic bowl, which might even allow that knee just to move or point a bit more towards the right side of the room. Gaze is forward or slightly downward. And just finding the body wanting to float away. Excellent. Keep the arms as they are. Swing the right knee forward, lifting your knee with the flexed foot. Plant the foot into the earth. Arms return to your side. Return to balance. To return to your home base and you can shake all that out. All right, let's inhale, extend the arms into the sky. Exhale, take a chair pose. Again, that weight shift into the hips and heels. Maybe the toes float or tap, breathe in. Exhale, diving forward. Long spine lifting halfway or monkey pose. Exhale, fold all the way down, plant the hands, hop or step back, plank pose, come down if you'd like, Chaturanga Dandasana. 
or knees to the floor first, then chest, opening up through the heart, and kneading in downward facing dog. Alrighty. Bring the knees again down to the floor. As you're able, sit back into hero. Let's stay in hero. If you're able, if this, if this is not comfortable, then just sit on the floor, okay? But here you might get, even just for a few seconds, if it feels okay, a nice lengthening through the top of the foot, even through the shins, kind of opens up through the knees as well, all right? So let me show you what's going to be happening next. Again, if you need to get out of this pose, certainly come out of it. So we're going to do another lunge sequence here. <clears throat> but first, well, let, me, well, let me show you this. I'm going to extend my right leg up into the air, just that nice floating feeding, feeling. And bringing this foot forward, and rather than bringing it all the way up to the top of the mat or right up near the, the right hand in this case, we're going to land short. So I'm going to land, I'm, I don't know, about four inches behind my hands, okay? Which means my weight is still quite forward here, which means I'm going to walk the hands back until I feel centered, okay? So I can easily get the hands off the floor without straining my back. So just sending more weight back this way, finding my new center of gravity with less space between the feet. So I'm going to move into a high lunge from this position, okay, like there. And once I'm in the pose, once I've lifted, I'm going to lift this right heel, lift. So both heels will be lifted. Okay, and again, that hugging to center <clears throat> with the legs to help with the balance, since we're going to be on our toes. All righty. All right, so after our hero, let's come back out to down dog. Okay, so a different sensation in the feet, since you were sitting on the top of the feet, now you can maybe press either both heels down towards the floor at the same time or pedal the feet okay, and just get a little stretch. That's it. Let's try this out, what I just demonstrated. So you'll inhale, extend right leg up into the air behind you, nice strong straight line. And we're gonna land short of the hand, so right foot lands maybe two or three inches behind the right hand, okay? Notice where the weight is. If it's in your hands, we're just kind of shifting the weight back until you can find that natural center spot. Then extend the spine, hinge from hips, a good bend in that right knee, rising up just like this. And once your tall arms in the air, then we'll lift that right heel, and then that should allow you to lunge a little bit deeper. Yes. So we're on our toes, heels are lifted, finding that center, hugging to midline. Core, legs, arms. Now, hinge forward about 45 degrees. Reach and extend. We're shifting weight into this right foot. It's going to peel those toes off the floor and step forward until we're in chair pose on tiptoes. Just briefly here, because I'm going to have you set the heels down. Stand up tall, reach into the sky. Bring your arms down to your side. Alrighty, grab your block. <clears throat> Place the block between the shins, down low at the ankles. We're just going to return to that chair pose, but we're going to lift up on tiptoes. Here we go. Inhale, reach into the sky. Exhale, chair pose. You don't have to go down too deep. And then you roll forward so you can lift up on tiptoes so heels lift. Squeezing the block. Yes. Again, that sensation of inside edges of the feet kind of pulling in we're rolling in towards big toes ankle bones squeezing in you've got that block Whoa. <clears throat> breathe in as you're able exhale dive forward into forward fold still on tiptoes yes can you remove the block okay keep heels lifted as you're able extend the spine Fold, bend your knees like you're going to do a little squat, but you're not. Just get the hands on the floor, either hop or just step both feet back into plank pose. Obviously, you'll still be on your toes. Chaturanga Dandasana, modified if need be. There's our up dog, yeah. And exhale, downward facing dog. So the exact same thing. Other side. Inhale, extend left leg into the air. And the exhale, stepping left foot just shy of the left hand, two or three inches behind that hand. Shift the weight way back, find that new center, yes. Then hinge from hips, rising up, reaching into the sky. Once you're tall there, 
Then we'll lift that left heel, lunge, sink into it. Reach, lunge, center, hug, legs, belly, arms. There it is. Hinge forward, about 45 degrees, shifting weight into this left foot. So we can step the right foot forward into our chair pose on tiptoes. <clears throat> Imagine holding onto the block. Can you feel it? Squeeze to center, that same sensation. Inside edges, big toes, shins and ankles, all hugging to midline. Now, stay on tiptoes, but stand tall. Reaching into the sky. Whoa. Floating away here. Okay, go ahead and set your heels down. Bring your arms down. Nice. All right. Stretch out those toes. <laughs> okay, shake out the feet if you need to. Okay, good job. So that same sensation, you don't have to do this now, but just that idea of holding on to something down low so you really feel the energy of um, the legs in that case down low, the feet even hug to midline. Okay, you can keep the block there if you want. Inhale, reaching into the sky. Exhale, swan dive forward. Okay, remove the block here if you have it. Monkey pose. You're just going to flow here. Exhale, fold, hands to the floor, hop or step back, plank pose. Come on down if you'd like. Modify this if you need to or want to. Low cobra, locust, sphinx as a modified back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's go back to our basic flow. Whenever you're ready, inhale, extend right leg up, bend and twist open. Okay, strong arms, strong hands, unwind, step through, right foot to the top of the mat. That's it. Left heel to the floor behind you. That same shift of weight back to find your center so you can easily float up. There it is. Exhale, opening to your warrior two. Settling in. Here we can go wider with the stance, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Side angle, reaching out, rotate. Reach high and low or send left arm overhead if you wish. Breathing in, just open up a bit more. Here we go. Exhale, turn, hands to the floor. Step back, plank, right foot lifted. Hold there for a second. Flex the foot, flex point. Flex, point, lift the leg into the air, okay, into down dog. Okay, we're going to that short lunge, same thing. Right foot lands shy of the right hand. Send the weight of the body back to find that new center. Hinge when you're ready, this is high lunge. Reaching into the air, once you're tall, lift that right heel lunge a little deeper. Hug to center. This is all the same. We're hinging forward about 45 degrees, shifting weight into that front foot, step forward, chair pose on tiptoes, hug that imaginary block. Okay, and it's all happening up through the legs here. Imagine there's a block between the thighs even. <sighs> Standing up tall, still on tiptoes. Ooh, yes. All right. Bring your arms down, bend your knees, fold, bend them a lot. Forward fold on tiptoes. Touch the ground. Extend the spine. Bend the knees more. Plant the hands. So you can step or hop both feet back. Plank pose. Come all the way down to your belly as you're able. Long legs, pointed toes. Roll the shoulders away from the floor. You can slide the hands back a tiny bit, not much. And move into up dog as best as you can, pushing into the floor to straighten the arms or even keep a slight bend. You can even have a little angle in the upper body, but as best as you can, wherever you are, push the top of the feet into the floor so your knees lift off the floor. So you might be at this angle. You might be way up here. Okay. And then either roll through your toes or just step up onto the tiptoes. Bend the knees, send the hips into the sky, the lightness of the hips taking you into the air. Other side. Inhale, extend left leg up, bend and twist open. There it is. We'll unwind it to step through. A wide stance here, right heel plants into the floor so that both feet feel grounded. Rise only when you're ready, first warrior. There it is. Exhale, opening to warrior two, even wider if you'd like. 
Nice lunge, side angle. Mm -hmm. Send the ribs and left hand forward, angled, reaching high and low, opening up through heart space, breathe in. Exhale, here's our turn, right back down to the floor with both hands. Step left foot back, left foot in the air. Flex, point, flex, point, then lift the whole leg, guiding you into down dog. Going for a high lunge, but with the short stance. So left foot lands shy of that left hand. Shifting weight back, find the center. Long spine, hinge from hips. Rise up once you're tall with arms in the air. Lift the left heel, lunge. Reach high, lunge low, hug to center. Helping with the balance. Still want to have a sense of lightness since we're on our tiptoes. Hinge forward, that's it, to that front foot. Stepping forward, chair pose on tiptoes. Hug, squeeze that imaginary block. Grow tall, still on tiptoes. Swan dive, now you may wanna bend your knees a whole lot. If you keep the legs straight, that's a, it's a, quite a challenge. You might find yourself just falling forward. <laughs> Heels are still lifted, extend the spine. Fold, hands to the ground, step back, plank pose. Still on toes here for the moment. Finishing the push-up, come all the way down to your belly. Long legs point your toes. Got that same little back bend. Where we're lifting, again, it can still be a partial lift, but press the tops of the feet into the floor so the legs or knees lift up off the ground. You even feel like you're pulling yourself forward. You're dragging yourself forward. Okay, down dog. You either roll through the toes or just step up onto tiptoes, bend the knees, send the hips into the air. Downward facing dog. Okay, let's take a little pause here. Bring the knees to the floor. Sit back into hero as you're able. Hold there or take a regular seat. Let me just show you something here as far as a transition. Now typically, or sometimes, you know, when we come down to a seat, um, you can come down to the knees, I have you sit back into hero, sit off to the side, swing around, do all that. You can always do that, okay? We're going into a shoulder stand, so you can make that transition that exact same way, okay? <clears throat> or if you're able, hopping forward, cross legs to take a seat, something like this, Hop forward, cross the legs here at the top. Take the seat, roll back, and just use that momentum and just take you right into your shoulder stand. This is a modified version, so you can just get the hips up, but just sit in your hands, and so you'll be in this angled position, or even get the hands more towards the center of your body, away from the pelvis, so you can draw the straight line up and down, either one, okay? Here, even with bent knees, this is fine too. All righty? So we return to your downward facing dog. We'll go from there so you can play with the option of hopping forward, cross legs, take a seat to roll back or just kneel down, take a seat, <clears throat> find your center, roll back, legs and hips in the air. Now if that's a little too much today, which is fine, you can just lie flat on your back and just take legs up into the sky. That's it, or yeah, or sit on a block, perfect. <clears throat> just want you to be mindful of your neck and shoulders. So now that the legs, yeah, legs are extended into the sky. Another sense of lightness. Reaching up, being lifted up into the air. Even take a moment to move the feet, ankles. Circle the ankles, flex and point, even move the legs. Yeah, just kind of get into the joints. I used, sometimes like to do some bicycle pedaling here. That's it, upside down, get into the joints. So just a little upside down motion. Now if you're in that full position with your hands on your mid back, okay, and your hips are free, you're probably drawing a straight line, okay, up into the air. If you're sitting in your hands, you might notice a little curvature in the spine. That's perfect too. But to come out of the pose, 
Okay, find that little roundedness in the back, a little rounded sensation in the back. So you, can, so you can slowly roll out of the pose and see if you can roll up to a seated position. Roll all the way through and right up to seated. Yes, a little momentum to seated. Okay, we're gonna play with that a little bit, okay? <clears throat> so what you just did, so if you're in that full position, okay, here's that straight line. We don't wanna just fall out of this pose. So I like to kind of melt out of the posture, rounding the spine, rolling through, a little momentum, just to roll up to the seat, okay? We're gonna do that again in a moment. <clears throat> Let me give you a little challenge, okay? From the shoulder stand or from whatever upside down position you happen to be in, maybe it's here, getting some momentum by rolling, we're getting a rounded spine, rolling. Actually, we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it a little differently. <clears throat> From here, a rocking sensation, enough momentum to rock yourself up to seated. And you can even use your hands, I'm going in slow motion. Using your hands to help lift yourself up to a standing position, and you're gonna to come to chair pose on your tiptoes. So that's our end posture. That's where we're going, okay? But first, just practice the roll into a seat or roll into a boat, okay? Or just a rock into a seat or a boat, okay? Go ahead and roll onto your back. You can just do a rocking sensation or take yourself up into the inverted pose, legs in the air. Let's see if you've got, yes. You, just first just practice rolling into a seat or roll into boat. So I like that action of there's momentum and movement in the body, then you have to come to a complete stop. <laughs> That's it, okay? And be mindful of your back. All right, if you wanna go for that standing end spot, come to your back, you can do the shoulder stand or just Onto your back. There you go. Nice. Use your hands to help lift yourself up. Good job. That's not easy. <laughs> Roll yourself up. Push, lift, chair pose, tiptoes. <clears throat> yes. Hug to center line. Stand up tall. Swan dive. Still on tiptoes. Whoa. Whoa. Bend your knees. Monkey pose. Hands to the floor, step back, plank pose. Okay, shortcut to down dog. You're just gonna do that one more time is all, okay? So from down dog, we're taking a seat. Okay, you're gonna hop forward, cross legs, take a seat, roll onto your back. Legs can go up into the air, return to the inverted posture. Now for a little extra credit, <laughs> you can come to plow pose, bring the feet down behind you position, roll your way up to standing to chair pose on tiptoes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> That's not easy. <laughs> Hug to center, find that lightness and stillness, stand up tall, extended mountain. All right, bring the heels to the floor, keep the arms in the air, reach up, even tip chin up, open up. Exhale, swan dive. Monkey pose. Folding here, soft knees, hands to the mat, float back, plank pose, come down if you'd like, chaturanga dandasana, this is our last one. Up dog, and downward facing dog. Okay, we are returning to the floor, so you can do that same thing. Hop forward, cross legs, take a seat to roll down onto your back or kneel down to take a seat and just simply hug knees into chest this time. And once you're here, any movement if desired, but then choose a hip opener, choose a hip opener. It might be happy baby pose or reclining cobbler's pose. Any sensation there that can do a little stretching for the inner legs and hips. 
Now, if you're wherever you are and your feet happen to be free, meaning you're not holding on to your feet like happy baby, if your feet happen to be free, just, you know, if you can, wiggle your toes, flex the feet, point, circle. Okay, a lot of work with the feet today. After your hip openers, you might lie back, knees into chest, and take spinal twist. You might start with taking the knees over to the left side, right arm extends to the right. Checking in with breath since we kind of completed those series with some Good movement there, just checking in with how your breath is activating. As you slowly return to those deep breaths, softening of the mind and body. Two more breaths on this first side in our twist. Coming back to center, you might pause in center. And take knees to the other side. Still paying attention to breath. Perhaps three more breaths on this side. And when you're complete, you can return to center. One more hug of the knees into chest. From here, just decide what you would like to do next. If there's any other pose or movement that you'd like to add here or repeat, something we've done already. Or if you feel complete, feel free to move into Shavasana or any other restorative position, something that's relaxing. So you can come to stillness, the softening of the body and mind. And as you're settling into your meditation, even just contemplating this practice, our theme was lightness. Maybe feeling a bit lighter or just carrying that idea of being light. You can certainly feel heavy, weighted. So perhaps an experience in our practice today to lift those weights. To perhaps even feel weightless.
stay right where you are. No need to move just yet. Just continue to focus on breath or return to the breath if the mind has happened to wander. Return to the awareness of your breath. This time taking five slow, deep breaths. Reconnecting, returning, returning from your journey. As you feel breath move through your body, feel movement return to the body. There might be subtle movements at first. Take your time. This breath generating, creating new energy. A breath that helps to remove those weights, that heaviness produces lightness. When you're ready, slowly and carefully roll onto either side of your body just pausing briefly in that nurturing pose. Continue to move in slow motion and guide your way up to a seated position. One more movement together and inhale to extend your arms all the way up into the air. And exhale, bring your palms together and down to your heart space. And just take one more breath. And as we come to the close of our practice together, we bow saying, Namaste. Namaste.